Hello everybody, it's me, Caffey, the number one DreamWorks fan speaking here. Today is a video where I address something serious going on, not only as a fan of DreamWorks, but as a fan of complex films in general. DreamWorks sought making films that appeal to me, and now they only make crap for babies. That, when I see these films, they make me feel like John Nada from They Live. If you don't believe me, look at 2022, and then look at 2023 slash 2024, it's the biggest downgrade in animation ever! In 2022, they had two movies, and like modern Disney, they have heart. Like, let's compare Puss in Boots to, um, Ruby Gilman, and let me tell you why it's a night and day comparison. First, just look at the panic attack scenes in both movies as a prime example. One is complex, extremely relatable, probably the deepest take on death in films and soul. The other one? While I do appreciate it for taking mental health seriously, I can't relate to this one so it sucks. Puss in Boots is a fucking masterpiece because it's a rare anime movie that no one hates. It's relatable, it has heart, and it has complexity. Compared to this Cocomelon slop, however? Like, what the fuck is this? First of all, because this matters, I have to bring up the fact it flopped at the box office and how professional critics didn't like it. Now, let me tell you why this movie doesn't work. I can't relate to it because it doesn't have any complex themes, it doesn't have any heart, and who the fuck is this movie even for? Corporate shills who just think anything not Disney is good? Oh please, those people shouldn't even call themselves animation fans if all they're gonna do is, is gatekeep movies. That's not even the worst part. The worst part is how the fuck do you make a movie about a kraken, and I even consider using the greatest kraken song of all time, Jonathan Colton's I Crush Everything. All hail the king Jonathan Colton, man. Okay, I might have to explain this further. Yes, Puss in Boots 2 unfortunately didn't use any Jonathan Colton music and instead used Spanish music, but honestly, I don't listen to soulless pop music anyways. I just listen to video game music and anime openings. Oh, that does remind me of another movie, DreamWorks released in 2023, that's also MID! This movie is called Trolls Band Together, and it's a stupid baby movie for babies. And if you're wondering why I've been bothered watching this crap, if I'm a grown adult, to that I say, you guys don't understand, I am a critic. I have to watch and review all the anime movies and keep up with the new product, unlike fake animation fans who don't keep up with the current stuff. I know a show like PJ Masks isn't going to appeal to me, but you gotta understand, this is on the same channel with Bluey, so I gotta watch it and make that lengthy review for another time. But the main reason why this movie sucks is that how do you make a soundtrack with various artists and not use a single Jonathan Colton song? Which does remind me, there's this one bad user I have to bring up. His name is Trolls Band Together Fan, he's a, he's a toxic simp for this movie, and he's not a true animation fan, because he thinks this movie's on par with Casablanca, and he says his least favorite movies are the Spider-Verse movies, which... Those are movies I feel like you don't have to like, but you should respect. And now let me talk about Megamind vs. the Doom SHIT! Error. Error. You fail to realize this movie does not exist, no. Oh, this isn't an official DreamWorks movie. Well, this still has their logo, so I'm counting it. You do not understand this is a fake movie that does not exist, like Jimmy Nubkins, John Muterman, Josh Nerdzo, and the wife of Ghost Politics. Huh? Well, those existing movies suck. Also, just recently they released a movie called Kung Fu Panda 4, and do not watch it. I only watched it to, to amuse you guys. I did not like this movie at all. It also had no Jonathan Colton songs. It was just mid. There's only one hope at this point, that their next movie, The Wild Robot, we must make sure is THE animated film. An apology for all this lackluster slop we've been getting, and it's finally gonna be a wake-up call that could showcase these greedy executives that animation is more than just entertainment for kids. It is an art piece, and the best animated pieces are ones that everyone can enjoy of any age, and anyone can relate to. One can only hope that one day we'll get complex masterpieces from the studio again. Anyways, I'm gonna go talk about what Nintendo's latest masterpiece will be in their upcoming Direct Online, and wait for my John Nada Funko Pops to come in the mail. I'm the Litterbox Critic, I'm signing out. Full disclaimer, this video was bait and meant to be satire. Trolled!